Hey everybody, it's time for WrestleMania 10. We've made it a third way through our 30 days of WrestleMania, and I think we have far less than 30 days uh, to go here, but we're going to keep rocking it. Uh, the first WrestleMania, this is always weird to me, it was the first WrestleMania without a Hulk Hogan. That's that's still weird to me, especially being the 10th anniversary. I felt like that's somebody that kind of belonged in this. Um, you know, once again, things were uh, it's, it's it's an interesting one. They had the two championships. They had the coming of, of Owen and Brett at the beginning of the show. Um, very. It felt like our uh, 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 celebrities are really getting B list. Uh, Burt Reynolds being on top of it um, and not the greatest of an announcer. Lex Luger. You kind of see why maybe they didn't run with him. Uh, he had the returns of Mr. Perfect and uh, Roddy Piper at the uh, referee uh, situation. Um, and, 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 and above all, the, the tag team, or I'm sorry, not the tag team, the, uh, the ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship, just as great as you remember. If you were big into the car wreck age of, of uh, what we get with TLC matches and everything these days, you're probably not going to be terribly excited for this, but certainly this is where it started. Um, for ladder matches, this is the this is the the beginning, the the one that that set the tone for what a ladder match can be, and was just a tremendous match. And let's see that much hardware. This is before we had hardcore, before we had ECW, um, and just 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 giant feats like this. This is the greatest thing probably since Superfly Jimmy Snuka jumped off the top of the cage in Madison Square Garden, and and it really really kind of stood up um you know really when you think about the the championship matches mostly forgettable with yokozuna uh yokozuna was a great great guy you know great bad guy back in the day um but uh, a great thing to overcome for somebody that's, that's really kind of tiny like brett you know and it was great that brett kind of got that and got his win back i guess from wrestlemania 9 in the in the long run but uh it, it was a coming of age and i guess it was basically the launch of the new generation at this point like, they're probably uh, well into it at this point and to see where that was going to go from there um other than that uh tag team match was was not rememberable whatsoever. Uh, we had men on a mission. Oh, I remember those guys, men on a mission. We had we had a, a doink and dink against Bam Bam Bigelow and uh, and Luna Vachon. Isn't it interesting to see? You know, we had King Kong Bundy go from a main event at WrestleMania two to working with Midgets at three, and then we have the vice versa with Bam Bam Bigelow here with working with Lawrence Taylor at WrestleMania eleven. Um, but you know, this this start it's starting to feel you know after the. It was great that they came back to Madison Square Garden, but again, it seems like stuff, things have stepped back a little bit, um, and and maybe that WrestleMania isn't as grand as it used to be at this point, point. Um, and, and it really feels like that going into these next couple of shows, that seems to be the trend. You can tell that WWF is on the, the downward swing at this point, um, as, as you really can, you can tell by this card. The last match uh, in WWF of Macho Man Randy Savage uh, against Crush, I know a lot of people bring that up, that I was a really great match first fall count anywhere very weird because it was you can pin him anywhere even to the point where he had he had to push him out of the ring to, to do the pin he, he, like they were wrestling in the ring and then and like like there was a mix-up there um but you had 60 seconds to to come back to the ring after being pinned it, it was i'm really glad they've gotten rid of those kinds of stipulations um because it really kind of slowed it down a women's match lunder blaze uh defending against lalani kai she was not there's no women's match in um in uh 11 so this is the last women's match maybe for a little bit here uh if i'm trying to recall what's coming up here in the wrestlemania line um but uh but again lunder blaze, lunder blaze another one that's popping up now in the hall of fame and uh, a pretty decent match there with lana kai so let what did you think wrestlemania 10 a lot of flashback on this, looking back to WrestleManias of the past um, over the course of this um, of this show. Um, really interesting. Really interesting to see uh, what it was like back then. And thinking ten years from now, you know, you had uh, Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero uh, at twenty, uh, and and it was the new generation of that. You know, um, and uh, it'll be very awkward when I get up into those shows. So what do you think of WrestleMania 10? Let us know here on the YouTube channel or at Mayhem Show. At Sorgatron is my Twitter. Um, and check out everything going on at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube or any of the iTunes feeds as well if you want some of the regular shows. All those links over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. See you guys next time.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.